New developments tonight in dozens of the city of Decatur teachers protesting the district's reopening plan. They're demanding a safer work environment and teachers have a point. New numbers out tonight show schools had the most coronavirus related outbreaks last week. 32 was the number. Long term care facilities a distant second with 20. Workplaces and prisons rounded out the top four. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons live in Decatur for us explaining what the teachers are so concerned about. Barmel. Rick, teachers did not hold back from what they had to say, holding up signs that say we cannot teach from the grave. Almost 50 or more people gathered here today in front of city schools of Decatur to ensure that health was put at the forefront. There has to be a middle ground between, you know, um, virtual and all going back to school five days a week. Parents, teachers unite, demanding transparency and a safe plan from the city schools of Decatur. I just think that the numbers aren't low enough. It's not safe for the teachers to be pushed back into the classroom now. Retired teaching assistant of 14 years, Katie Yonker, believes it's dangerous to rush kids back to school when the numbers throughout the counties continue to rise. Teachers nervous about the security of their job, explaining to me off camera that the school's plan ignores the clear preference of 82% of teachers and 65% of parents' requests to remain virtual in the midst of flu season and the predicted second wave of COVID-19. I have heard for the past month how hard they're working and they have fostered learning and community and laughter all virtually and just to think that um, we would rush away from that to a less safe situation is really heartbreaking. Decatur residents like Carrie Ludland demanding an open town hall from the superintendent and additional reports containing survey data, public health data and the rationale used to design this plan. Our teachers are really the backbone of what makes our school system so amazing. Teachers say they are most concerned with the lack of detail the plan contains, saying there's no specific cap when it comes to how many kids will be in the classroom, as well as not knowing what kids will be in the classroom from day to day. In Decatur, I'm Barmel Lyons, CBS 46 News. Barmel, thank you.